Recording an intro is so hard. <laughs> Finger Gun City. A whole shark just went and chopped. Um, bit the damn cable. Went and bit the damn thing broken. Hey friends, it's me again. Today I had the amazing, amazing privilege of getting to chat to a, a friend of mine, Kelly Taylor. She's a makeup artist based in Cape Town, does incredible, amazing work. So be kind, press play, and let me know what you think. And follow her, like her stuff, she is amazing. Thank you so much, oh. eh, by the way, for, for joining me. Oh my gosh, I got right. coffee. Thank you. Thank you, baby. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I kind of just wanted to like how I explained, just start some like video things. I don't even know if people are going to watch them and how the quality is going to be. But, but yeah. The perfect time because people are watching. Exactly. Like, um, I, it's I the can... time. So yeah, yeah, actually, like, I wanted to just hear, like, h how you got into, like, how did you get into doing makeup, and how did you find, like, a passion for makeup and fashion and styling? Yeah. <laughs> um, geez. It's just always been there, you know? Um, it's always been, like, creative and stuff. Um, like I still have this little like book that I made in primary school of like different like fashion designs. It sounds crazy now. <laughs> um and with makeup and yeah, always played with makeup as a kid. It's weird because my mom never wore like my mom never wore most of makeup. Can't speak. How did, how did you get makeup if she didn't wear it? Did she have it at least? Not really, no. She used to buy me like those like, little kid like, <laughs> And I, yeah. Yeah, I would just like go wild with those things. It's like random six-year-old something with like blue eyeshadow. It's so and, cute. Yeah. We, um, we, so we're, we're living with MJ's parents now and so we've had our, our nieces over quite a lot and okay. the, the, the older one, she's like two now and she, she arrives at our, at our house in the morning and she's like put lipstick on because she's like playing with mommy's lipstick at home but it's like from here to here and she just looks like the Joker. It's actually so terrifying <laughs> and I look at her in the morning and I'm like, ooh, that's a bit, that's a bit scary. But it's so cute. It's super cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, this is adorable. Can you remember the first time you ever put makeup on somebody else? Jeez, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think it's also like back in primary school, like playing with like my random kids' makeup stuff and just doing it on my friends. Yeah. I think that was the first time. <laughs> That's so cool. I, I don't know, like, I don't know if I, I can't really remember if I played with makeup so much. I think I did. I had like some like children makeup, but like, yeah, also we played dress up, dress up a lot and, you know, played with my mom's clothes and things like that. And I thought I was so stylish. I was like, oh my God. And I used to say to my mom, mommy, you should let me style you. Cause like, look how good the outfits that I put together are. And now I look back and I'm like, what? What, you know, <laughs> what was I thinking? So crazy. She, uh, yo, it was, it was wild. It was crazy. So how did you, yeah. so did you, you had to, do you have to study? Did you have to like get a certification to actually like operate as a makeup artist? How does that work? Really? Um, nowadays, like most of them are just kind of like self-taught. Cause I mean, you have YouTube and like Instagram where you can just do for like tutorials and mimic them and I mean there are some amazing self-taught makeup artists out there that sometimes better than the people that actually went for like courses and stuff 
Yeah. But yeah, I mean, with that, it's also kind of you're amazing on yourself, but you have to learn how to do makeup on like other people and other skin tones. That probably probably takes them a bit longer to do that. And like, if you learn, well, I go through the courses. That's like primarily what you do is you do makeup on other people and like learn about their like other people's skin tones and like skin yeah. problems and all of those things as well. But I mean, like skill wise, it's like you don't really need a certificate. Yeah. You can kind of just yeah. get by. I guess if you have like a portfolio that that looks pretty dope, people will book you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And like how is that process of of doing makeup on other people like was that quite daunting at first when it came to like a professional a professional side of things um i don't even remember <laughs> <laughs> i know that like during the course that we did when like doing it on like the other students and stuff that was definitely like daunting and having someone like inspect your work and stuff that was probably the most like intense yeah like, stressful but then i don't know when you do it on other people like they don't know as much so you think you messed up some part with it but like they're just like oh my gosh it's so amazing and just, like, yeah amazing. that's like i think <laughs> like all creatives basically but it's so funny, mm -hmm. like, if I, because even when I was younger, I would, like, I put, like, do my sister's makeup, for example. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm doing this so well, you know. But, like, using my, like, my skin tone base on her face. And, and it looked fine. But, you know, it's just, like, I can imagine yeah. all the amazing things you learn about, like, 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 matching, like, the right tones and how to mix colors. And that's yeah, super cool. Yeah. yeah. In there or like undertones and face shapes and all those things face shapes you know that is my worst nightmare because like <laughs> i look at things and like oh contour to your face like, this is like what i always come and ask you about i'm like kelly i don't really still know how to do this this thing because then i look at like things and it's like it gives you the face shape chart and then when i look at my face i'm like there's two they don't they're like different sides like one is like long and down and one is like square and it's wild it's it's crazy well, yeah no one's face is like exactly the same anyways so it's just kind of like a like a very soft guideline i guess um that's just basically what you want to emphasize or like diminish or yeah like at the end of the day that's just like the face shape guide that's just to make your face into like this perfect oval shape but i mean not everyone wants that and like yeah it's just kind of like doing what you want so yeah if you don't want physical cheekbones you don't have to contour like with your cheekbones if you like the shape of your forehead, you don't have to contour that. It's, it's yeah, it's like personal preference. Yeah, and I think like you know, with with beauty trends and stuff blowing up as much as they have on Instagram, like nails and like face makeup and so many things, it's like people like me who have zero idea of where to start. So we like go to our favorite disc cam or clicks, and we like buy a, yeah. a random bunch of stuff, and then we like use it maybe a couple of times, and then like sits in my drawer because i'm like i don't really know how to do this i'm like okay yeah. cool i'm just gonna brush this so yeah yeah it's very like personal preference but thing like mm -hmm. trends kind of gets you for a couple of months and then that's it but yeah just like simple makeup like neutral tones and stuff that'll last you for like ever so exactly that's so true. Yeah, so I'm always to. like, I'm like, I want to go, I want to go to Kelly and I want, I want you to, I want to sit with you and be like, what's my face shape and what should I do? And what would be the best, like, what would be the best thing for me to put on? And that'll happen mm -hmm. one day when we're out of, out of quarantine and we're back in, in public. We can leave our house. We can do that. 
<laughs> so um so now you've been doing like for i mean it's only been like three or four days now you've been doing a makeup look every day as like part of a, a 21 day challenge yeah yeah that's still figuring it out <laughs> how do you um, get your inspiration every day um i don't know i just kind of started with just going with like a rainbow theme so a different color every day and I know I just kind of go on Pinterest and just Google the color and then just see what like just see what pops up that's and super cool I'm saying and did yeah. you have you already you haven't already done your one for today not yet I'm cool about to do that. yeah are you gonna are we gonna we're we gonna do it together you can show me yes, or is it, is it too lit oh. to to do it <laughs> sitting here and do the base of it okay yeah that would be super cool yeah and then you can you can i can chat to you while you do it yeah you can oh, yeah. show us how how you start <laughs> like what's your process what do you put first um you can do one eye and then yeah just i was gonna go simple with the eye and then throw on some color afterwards anyways so okay cool let's do it yeah all right cool um so like i said it's just gonna be like a basic eye with a liner so that's kind of okay, okay. <laughs> um yeah you want to do it yes now? Yeah. i got i i brought some things the things that you helped me buy yeah when, what's like like if you when you leave the house in the day what's your like five things you wouldn't leave the house without five things I wouldn't leave the house about. Like makeup. makeup wise? Yeah, makeup Make wise. Uh, I think five things is a lot. <laughs> um, it's usually just mascara, um, just like lip gloss in my bag. Yeah, actually, and like now that I'm thinking, I'm like, I don't really carry, who carries five yeah. things of makeup? Okay, no. that, was, that was a terrible <laughs> question, but we're learning. <laughs> We're learning about questions oh my god yeah, yeah. <laughs> no i'm like the most basic makeup artist like on myself okay cool yeah. so so yeah talk me talk me through your your process okay so I'm such a shocking job of this i can't wait i'm gonna look so great <laughs> no it's gonna be super simple with the eyes um so usually just start with a eyeshadow base or um, concealer if you have concealer that's a little bit lighter than your skin tone um so i got this one. Oh my gosh what do they do <laughs> you and me both this is the one you yeah. you got you showed me <laughs> yeah <laughs> so i'm just gonna use like drugstore type stuff in here because perfect easiest thing okay yeah so it's kind of just basically empty so i'm grabbing it yeah it's just kind of put it on your eye oh you put it on the eye oh my god <laughs> and just like pat it out with your finger do you put it all over like all the way up to the brow yeah like all over Oh, I did a shot. Just like so that your eyes can stick to it. You don't have to That's so like cool. That. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so usually like if you put concealer on, you set it with powder so that let it stay. So the whole point of this is that it's gonna be like kind of sticky now. So you put the eyeshadow straight on there and then the pigment is a lot more oh my gosh that's how they get it to look so popping so um i think it was like a natural color so hmm. go with that okay so this is makeup revolution Ooh. palette so also affordable all that um and then just like just like a little peachy kind of color copy everything you do like this one yeah like just super natural 
you've got all the hand gestures like perfect like we're using this and this it's so good okay and then what kind of brush am i supposed to use um so i'm just gonna use like if you have like a big fluffy type brush base put like a base color on is what we're doing so um so you're just kind of gonna use this one like the outside because that's usually where you want most of the color to show up nice. um, so just kind of like pat it down on like that oh. outer corner like just over there so yeah you pat it down over there and then you just kind of like sweep it in like the general crease area so it's just like very light wow you make it look so easy <laughs> like it's not hard but you make it look so good and then we're starting with this color because it's like close to your skin tone so when you add other colors on top of there it just like blends easier what i'm going to do is go in with like a bronzer crazy um so I'm using this mix bronzer. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's just like a warm brown color. So like any warm brown that you have. Okay. Yeah, so now I'm basically gonna hit that same point right in the corner. And you just like pat it down <laughs> so that yeah the color comes out a bit more intense if you pat it and then you go back in with like a fluffy brush that you use and just kind of go increase again with that other color that you had like blend everything oh yeah it's a lot of like going back the whole time so what like if, if you could do makeup or style any person in the world who would that be do you have like a like a dream styling job um i mean right now just because she's like so freaking cool um probably be Zendaya. Just, yeah. 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 She's like so dope. She is super cool. There's nothing on the brush. Uh, so I'm just kind of taking away whatever happened like from there. Just like pretending that I'm just doing all the right things. <laughs> Yes. I love the clicks. The clicks can take all my money. I know. Clicks in this game can yeah. just like have it. Yeah. <laughs> there you, there you go. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, what am I going to do next? Like, I'm like thinking about this as I'm doing it. I don't usually have a set plan. So back to the concealer. And oh. then I'm going to put it on the teeth. Right underneath. And then you can use your finger again. Or this just gonna go quicker. Brush it out. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do this peachy color again. Okay. Um, and then just kind of like sweep it underneath like the hole. Ooh, underneath the eye. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna like carve out the brow first before i do that oh which is a kind of, kind of a cool trick never used to do brows last until i realized that it works what do you mean when you say carving out the brow um so i'm just gonna use concealer and just kind of make the shape that i want underneath the brow because really i'll conceal like all over my eye mm -hmm. so i'm just is a lighter concealer and just kind of like shape the underneath. Okay. 
basically, yeah, still going in with is the revolution concealers. So just like a tiny flat brush type of thing. And can't do my own. Um, so this is kind of like drawing right underneath. So I blend it out a little bit. Oh, blend. But I, I like, <laughs> I know so many nail techs who have such like anxiety about like putting their work online and you know it's like in, our, mm -hmm. in the community it's this huge thing of being like don't overthink it just post it like get it out there this is how you get your business you know i mean that's that's the problem with creative people like you never think your work is good enough but like other people see it and they think it's amazing and you just you're just kind of like living inside your head and yeah, yeah. It's so sad. It's so sad that we're like that. I don't know why, because it's every every person that's a creative person that I know does that. Okay, now what's next? All right. So now I'm gonna do a inner corner highlight. Oh. So just like the tiniest little brush. What's your favorite like cool creative look that you've ever done? Like of your Instagram posts, do you have one? I mean, I like the skull that I did. That yeah, that looked, cool. that, looked, that looked pretty sick. <laughs> I really, uh, I really love that one that you did like all the, the lines all over your face. That's super beautiful. Yeah, that, thank you. <laughs> that was a bit intense to get that black as black as I need it. <laughs> How do you know when you're when you're done? Like when you're like happy with it? Do you ever get to the point where you're like, oh I'm sick of doing this or you could just keep going forever? Um it usually gets to the point of like I'm tired of doing this. I'm gonna finish. <laughs> uh yeah. Cause I mean I didn't take like depending on what I do, it can either take like half an hour or it can take like five hours. I find that Especially like, like if I ever do my own nails and I'm mm -hmm. like, obviously I have all the time in the world, I can easily take like five and a half hours. And then I'm like, what the hell was I doing? <laughs> no, you just kind of keep going. Like, especially like, not the like beauty stuff that I do, like mm -hmm. the thing type thing. That like you get tired of a while, <laughs> and I just end up like doing nothing for like twenty minutes, and I'm like, okay, I have to go back because it's like it's also draining to do it. So much effort. It's it's like it's like making it's honestly like painting an artwork. And then you have to wash it off. It's like you exactly. can't just you can't just keep it. What you should yeah. do is you should find like like soft paper and then you would like it's gonna be so weird, but you push your face against and you frame you frame your your makeup the dirty makeup papers. <laughs> I felt I felt so guilty today because like I, I woke up and I felt so exhausted for who knows what reason. And then I was just like, wow, I actually feel bored today. Like, this is bad. It's day four and I felt bored. So like this, this, yeah. this is, I was looking forward to this all day long, but then like <laughs> I had a work meeting and then MJ had work meetings and then like the whole, like my family's here. So even now it's like, there's like all the babies downstairs and we're having like wine and pizza. Okay. And I'm like, guys, I'm just shutting the door. So like I had to fashion this little backdrop, like put up a little artwork, find a little plant. <laughs> Gotta make it cute. After that inner corner, you know, it's like, like the same highlight color and brush. I'm going to do underneath the eyebrow, like just by the arch, and then pull it out to the end and like pull it inwards. I have like my dad's eyebrows where they like start here and then they fan out, but they're like so bald in the center. Thank you, dad, for your jeans. 
I was honestly like really considering like microblading just to give <laughs> some life to my eyebrows. Is your what is your opinion on like permanent makeup and stuff? Do you do you have a feeling on that? Um, not very. Really. Microblading is pretty cool in my opinion. I mean, it looks natural and like it fades out naturally. So, I mean, it's pretty dope. Yeah. Uh, MJ's yeah. family they they have like a beauty salon and his sister she's a trainer in like permanent makeup um like non-invasive paramedical beauty things so like okay. using that like high I can't say it properly hyaluron that stuff that they like shoot into your like lips or your these parts to like plump out your skin and it's like uh-huh. needle free beauty procedures and it really is amazing that sounds amazing. Yeah, it is. It's really I mean, cool. I, I wouldn't mind a little, a little like a lip plumper. Yeah, girl, <laughs> and it really works. Like, mm. like I, I've seen um. <laughs> free. Huh? When you say needle free, what do you mean? So how they have like a how do I explain this? It's like a pen, and then they uh-huh. they have like a little vial of the. The, it's basically like water stuff that's on it and then they put it against where they're gonna like plump and they click the end of the pen and it's like you know those clicky pens mm-hmm. so it like oops and it like basically hits hits your skin and such a pressure that the water actually like goes into your skin like in, in the molecules i don't know the science behind it but yeah and then it, it kind of like you get these like little ball balls in your lips and they attract like all the h2o and so it's super natural and then yeah your lips get like plumped up yes sorry Ooh, let's try it it's the intense part i'm just like using a pen i think i I think i have the same one this one yeah that's one (laughs) basically i have like half the stuff you have just because (laughs) <laughs> I forced you to take me shopping. <laughs> but I mean, hey, it's fantastic. <laughs> it's about who you know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, put it where I wanted on the outside there. It was made like a little line, as you can see. Yeah. Um, all right, so there, and then connect it to the corner. Okay. Uh, Lightly flick that end to make it super sharp. And then I mess it up. Uh, okay. So it's just like straight out line. And then bring it in. But I like that little trick that you showed of of doing that little line first like yeah because you kind of have your eyes open and you're just kind of like placing it down so you know where it's going so much so easier not eyes closed and you're just drawing blindly the benefits um row lash it's so tiny yeah, it's one of the mini ones it's so cute because that's also like a trick you just kind of like stick it in and bend it so easier to get oh my gosh once i break yeah. it yeah no, no, no. It doesn't break i've i've never broken one so oh my god watch me i'll be the first one <laughs> <laughs> yeah you just kind of put it on there's no like right way to do mascara do you just brush it up yeah okay and that's like the easy part. <laughs> I'm gonna walk around for the rest of the night with just one eye made up. <laughs> no shame. Yeah. The How kids are gonna see me and they're gonna be like, "What the hell is going on?" And I'm gonna be like, "Okay, but you had lipstick from here to here." So. And then yeah, you can just like finish with an eyebrow, and this is like a super simple eyebrow. Um. So just like have a spoolie type thing. Okay. You just kind of like brush it out 
Right I only have like the Dove Beauty Bar. I don't think it'll work. I really think it could work, possibly. Should I try Maybe. it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go grab it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gonna try this. <laughs> yes. So, um, you just need to make. So I've got this. It looks very manky right now. <laughs> I mean, this is all over this thing. So it's like face spray, just like spray it once from like a distance. You don't want it too wet and then kind of scrape this all over. You need to have to make sure there's a lot on here. Okay. Then pretty simple. Yeah, so it's just brushing it and like holding it close to your face, your finger, and just like make sure like all the eyebrows, eyebrow hairs are like flat down. Or you can just kind of, if you want it more like shaped, you go in with whatever brow product you want, shape it and then just soap it up. Soap it up. Um, yeah, you can just like lightly line the end and then flick up from there. Okay. Then you have like a defined natural looking eyebrow. Thanks so much for for this little lesson that I have going on this <laughs> just this side on my face. I'm so grateful. I can't wait to see what you do for for the rest of, of your look today. It was so nice to catch up and hang out virtually. No, this is fun and also I'm not just speaking to myself which <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>